Greetings from Florida. We're working on a Volkswagen Eos 2008 through 2016. This video is at four times the speed, so it won't take you an hour to watch it, it'll take you 15 minutes. Behind the handle is a Torx screw, and then you've got um, three Torx screws on the bottom. I believe they were 20s. One, two, I missed the third one initially, but I'll get to it in a minute. All right, you're going to pop off the switch housing. It requires a little bit of action there, a little bit of uh, oomph. You may break it, but that's the way it goes. They say you're not a real surgeon until you've killed your first patient. Got it, more or less. And now we're going to unplug the four wiring harnesses on the other side of it. One, two, three, four. And then we've got two, I want to say 30, Torx 30s bolts right there. One, two. So take those out. Panel should come out pretty easy. Um, pulls out, then, oh, you know what? I missed that screw. There you go. Pulls out. On the back of it, you've got... Um, the, raw, the cable that goes to the handle, to the inside handle, that's going to come off. And then you've got one, two wiring harnesses, I believe, that need to come off as well. One for the gas tank and one for the security sensor, which is in the upper right-hand corner. I'm getting that off right now. And then the gas tank. And then on the cable that goes to the handle, sometimes a piece of plastic, black plastic, breaks and you have to slide that back first. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Okay, so now before I do anything, I want to make sure it's the regulator and not something else. It should be the regulator. It's usually the regulator. That's the common problem on these, but I just want to make sure. So I wasn't getting any action there. So I'm going to take the motor off, 330 T Torx 30 bolts. Take that off. And I'm going to try the motor. Yes, it was working. So yeah, that tells us that it's it's probably the regulator. I'm going to, I'm going to commit to the regulator. So let's unplug that, get that out of the way. Take off the two small covers where you can get access to the bolts that hold the glass on. I can't push the glass down. Uh, so let's take off the 10 millimeter bolts that are all around it. This is the first time I've done it at four speed. Usually I do it at two speed. And then there's four smaller screws that hold the metal bracket, the pan on. Let's pull it apart. And what I'm going to do is cut the regulator cable, which is fine. Don't cut any wires. Don't cut any electrical wires. But you can certainly cut the regulator cable so you can get the thing down. Now, that one I had access to. Um, the other one, though, it would not come down. So I'm using a pair of linesman's pliers. I'm going to cut two cables that are on the regulator, which is fine because, you know, you're throwing it away anyway. And once I did that, I think I found the glass would come down. I can access the Torx 30 bolt right there. That one's coming out, not just loosened. Um, now, I was going to try to pull the glass off. My next problem was that the, the glass is going to have to come out. So what I did initially was I took out on the left-hand side in that hole, there's a 10 millimeter nut. On the right-hand side, it's a Torx bolt. And on the bottom, it's a Torx bolt. There's two on the bottom. You'll need to take off the plastic covers that cover those bolts. And I think I realized that I'm going to need to get the glass out to get this out. So the follow-up problem was that I couldn't get the other um, bracket off the glass. That became a real issue. So to get that, you're going to probably need to pry it off with like a little mini crowbar, a upholstery trim tool. But the first one came out fine. The first side of it came out fine. Um, don't break the glass. Ha! Don't break the glass. 
famous last words. <clears throat> you, cr you can reach into that hole in the middle and you can get access to the back of the glass and you can pull the, the uh, plastic clip back from that, which is easy. But then getting the rest of it off is a little more challenging. Oh, and by the way, the other way to do this is to take out the latch as well. But that's a real major piece of work. And to remove the latch, you need what's called a triple tap set. It's a VW Audi thing. Um, I could have, I have one, I could have taken it out. I didn't want to take it out. It becomes a whole, whole nother Megillah. Got it. So I took the glass out, carefully put it in the back seat. Then I can get the rest of the regulator out, reach in, get any of the uh, broken pieces out. Before you do this, make damn sure you have the right regulator with you. You can just check the part number. I don't know that they make aftermarket ones. This was a VW part. And this took a minute or two, too. Um, the holes on the bottom of the door, there's two thin tracks on the bottom of the door with it where the Torx bolts go in that hold the regulator in place. It allows you, try to line it up with what was originally there, but it allows you, after you have the panel on, to adjust those forward or backwards if you need to have the glass coming in or out a little bit. So you do have some uh, discretion after the, the whole thing is in. had a bit of an issue getting uh, that one in. So I went under, took an all a punch, and lined up the hole. As you can see from that. Put the bolts back in. Now we need to put the uh, the plate back in. So I pull it towards me, put those four smaller screws back on. And before you put the glass onto the brackets, um, do two things. One, put the motor back on, because otherwise the glass, the bracket's just gonna slide down. So put the motor back on. And two, I sprayed a little bit of uh, W40 on the openings to the clips on the regulator, so that it makes it easier for the glass to go in there. And it lined up for me pretty quick, although I gotta be honest with you, after I finished this whole project, I did take the door panel off to readjust the glass slightly. It was just a, 
I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch off at the top. So I just took the panel off. You didn't see it, but I took the panel off and made a little adjustment. Now, when you do this, it's possible the window won't go all the way up. Don't panic. Everything will be fine after you get the panel back on and close the door. And then you can reset the automatic up and down. To reset it, you hold your finger on the button like you want to put the window up and leave your finger on the button after it's already up for 10, 10 seconds. And that should do it. And make sure that that uh, cable rod to the latch is back in place properly. I'm pulling out that little rubber grommet that kind of holds it in place. All right. Now I'm going to put the panel back on. And Wait, oh, it was too quick to show you. Well, anyway, you'll see it when you take off your, your cable. There's a black plastic piece that sometimes breaks off, in which case it'll be difficult to remove the cable. You just gotta take a, a knife or something and just slide it off. So we're gonna put that back on. And I'm gonna probably close the door now and make sure I can reset it before uh, Now, I wasn't exactly on the money here with the panel, so you may have to move it a little bit to the left or the right, and you can put those T30 bolts back in. But I'm not, because it was so difficult to get the switch housing out, I'm not gonna put that back on until after I've um, made sure that everything works okay. I checked the gas cap and I checked the trunk release. Make sure those are okay. And I'm putting it down. And this part you'll have to take my word for. But it was fine. Ooh, it's really fast at four times. Thanks very much.